In this video, I'll be discussing concavity of a function and of a graph of a function, and I'll be talking about how we can use the second derivative test to determine where in the function it is concave down and concave up, frowning and smiling. So here the question says, given the function f of x equals x to the third minus 12x minus 6, find any relative extrema and use the concept of concavity to determine whether they are relative maximums or minimums. So uh, right away, le let's explain something. So if we have something concave down, then necessarily if we have an extrema, if we have um, an extreme point here, it's going to be a maximum. And if something is concave up, if we have a relative extreme point here, then it will be a minimum. Okay, so a rough, a rough sketch of this function, this x to the third minus 12x minus 6. This will be a very rough sketch, but I just want you to get the idea of what this function looks like if you don't have a calculator right with you. It looks something like that. And we have relative extrema at negative 2 and at positive 2. Uh, and, and we're going to do all this algebraically and, and using calculus, but you can see it already that we have a relative maximum here and a minimum here. So I'm kind of doing this in the opposite uh, order the, of the way that I did it using the first derivative, finding when the slope is positive and the slope is negative, and the slope is negative going to positive. And that's a great way to find whether or not something is uh, a maximum or a minimum. But the second derivative test that we use in, uh, in this video is faster. And so we, we like to do things that are faster. So let's first take the first derivative and set it to 0 so we can find these, these critical points, right? So remember, we have critical points when, when uh, the first derivative equals 0, when f prime of x equals 0. So taking that first derivative, f prime of x, we say that equals 3x squared minus 12. And if we set that equal to 0, 3x squared minus 12, setting it equal to 0. We can solve this. I could add 12 to each side and divide by 3 and take the square root. I'll just jump to it and say x equals negative 2. And we also have x equals positive 2. So we have two critical points. And we can see that right there. We, we already, I already showed those to you. But um, we found those using some, some calculus and some algebra. So these are the critical points. Those are... Uh, those may be uh, extrema. They may be a maximum or a minimum. Now, we can use the second derivative test. And, and here we have it. So if we have a critical point, so if C, if some value C is a critical point, and we have these two critical points, negative 2 and 2, Then we take the second derivative and evaluate at that, at that value c. So if it is, if that second derivative evaluated at, the, at a critical point c value, if that is less than 0, then we say that the graph at that, in that area is concave down. Concave down down. So negative frowning. That, that's how I remember it, honestly. And if we have the second derivative evaluated at a critical point is greater than zero, then you guessed it, smiling. We are, we are a positive value, we're smiling. So this is concave up. Now, you might have a, a way that uh, remembering that that works better for you, and, and that's great, but I just showed you how I remember it. So let's evaluate each of these. I'm going to take the second derivative, second derivative of x. So that's taking the derivative of this function, and that equals 6x. 
and it's just 6x because the derivative of negative 12 is just 0. So now let's evaluate each of these. We will do the first one. I'll do it in yellow because I'm going to match our statements over here. So f double prime of negative 2 equals 6 times negative 2 equals negative 12. So we know it is concave down. And f double prime of positive 2 equals 6 times 2 equals positive 12. So we know it is concave up. And so therefore, we have a maximum, a relative maximum at x equals negative 2. And we see that right here. And we have a relative minimum. minimum at x equals positive 2. And we see that right here. So we use that second derivative test, so a little bit faster way of, uh, faster than setting up that table for uh, increasing and decreasing function. Faster way to, to find whether or not a function has a maximum point, relative maximum, or a relative minimum using concavity.